Hi, I'm Joe with Gramophone, and today we're at the Macintosh House of Sound in New York City, a place that you really need to visit if it's at all possible for you. And we're here with our good friend, Ricky Miranda. Ricky, how are you? I'm doing great, Joe. Nice great, to see you again. Great to see you as always. Yeah. And today we're not going to start by talking about a specific Macintosh product because we want to talk about something that a lot of people who are buying either very affordable audio gear or absolute top of the line audio gear may not necessarily even think about. It's the kind of unspoken about component and that's the room itself. So Ricky, just to kind of set the stage for our discussion a little yeah. bit, if you're in a store and you hear some gear and you like it and it's in your price range and you take it home, it's virtually guaranteed that it's not going to sound exactly like in the store. It'll sound maybe a little bit better or maybe a little bit worse based on the environment that you've now put it in because every room influences the sound of the gear. Yeah. So we want to talk today a little bit about that fact and some of the really creative and cool innovations that Macintosh has to help overcome some of the limitations of a listening room. Yeah, it's, it's to your point exactly, so few people think about the fact that your room is maybe the largest component in what happens to the way your system sounds, right? You can, you can have the best equipment in the world. If you just take it out of the box and put it in the corner, it's not gonna sound great, right? Um, so obviously we believe that mechanical treatment, physical placement is the best possible solution, right? You're always gonna wanna place the speakers in the best physical place you can in the room. But can is the important word there. We also have to uh, contend with design and decor and just physical space in the room. You can't always place a speaker in the best sonic place. You've got to place it in the best aesthetic place. And so we have a couple devices we're going to talk about today that help you bridge that gap. They are not an end all. They don't, you know, cure every situation. But for when you need to go that extra mile, something like the MQ-112 and the MEN-220 really allow you to bridge that gap. Mm -hmm. and, and let's just talk about what some of those limitations are. So for example, here in this room in the House of Sound, which by the way has five different floors with Mac and various Macintosh and Sonus Faber solutions in them. In this particular room, we've got glass windows covering almost the entire wall over there. Yeah. So glass is a very reflective surface. But this is exactly the kind of thing that if we're going to go out to a consumer's home and do an install, exactly the kind of thing you may deal with where there's glass because this beautiful home is overlooking a golf course or a lake or whatever it might be. You're not just going to rip out all that beautiful glass and put in a regular old wall, but now we have an issue that we have to deal with in the room. And, and you correctly, very correctly, Ricky said, one of the things that you can do in this situation is to, with a partner, so one sitting and listening and the other physically moving yeah. the speakers, you can move the speakers around, but sometimes that's not even an option for all kinds of reasons, not the least of which is this may be, for example, a Macintosh installation with only in-wall and in-ceiling speakers from Sonus Faber. Yeah. Obviously, once they're installed, you can't move them at all. So if you're in a situation where the room is causing some cancellations or artificially exaggerating certain things, you know, now let's start talking about some of the environmental solution products that you guys have that can help you overcome some of those too bright or too boomy kind of situations. Yes. Yeah. So we'll start off talking about the MEN220 in particular. Um, this unit has recently had a running change in its capabilities. So the MEN220 currently is even far more functional than it used to be. Um, what this is, is it uses software called Ring, Room Perfect, made by Lingdorf. Um, we've worked with them to put that into this unit here. And it really allows you to take a room like this, as you already mentioned, with all of this glass, a big open side. So many of us have these open floor plans and high ceilings that we really cannot physically correct for. We don't think about the fact that, obviously, hi-fi is a luxury, but a listening room is a luxury on top of that luxury. That's right. So many of us have to live with partners and families and you know, all these other things where we have to make a compromise. And the MEN220 kind of closes that compromise. So if you've ever set up any sort of uh, room correction device, it's fairly standard. You have a microphone. It directs you through the uh, setup process where you'll set up the microphone in a specific listening position and it'll play back pink noise through your speakers. 
It's going to ask you to move the, room, the mic around a number of different times. And what it's doing is building a sonar picture of the room. Once it knows what the room looks like, it can then trick the speakers by changing the timing of specific frequencies to act as if they have reflected off spaces that don't cause reflections. So it really, once again, just takes that last little bit of sprinkle of, of sauce you need on the room to take it from being really, really good to being truly great. Great. Uh, so that would be really the, I think, the best solution that you have right now. And then there's a second one as well. Yeah, we MQ also offer the MQ112, which is the first outboard EQ we've offered in quite a while. It's an extremely functional device as well. It looks pretty simple. If you look at it at the front, just a bunch of potentiometers there with various frequencies that they uh, uh, work with. But on the rear panel, you also have some really interesting things like an internally crossed over subwoofer output. So if you're using a, a, an integrated or a preamp that did not have a dedicated sub output, the MQ112 gives you the ability to add that functionality to your system. You know, you mentioned earlier the, the tilt control, and I was explaining to you what that does. I think it's pretty sweet because what you can do is you can have your eight bands set for your room, and you've got the one track that just needs a little bit more bass or a little bit more treble. You've got that tilt control, which basically takes your EQ and just does that around a central frequency. So you can boost the bass while cutting the treble or boost the treble while cutting the bass to just fine tune that one track that you need a little bit of extra sauce on. Right, so where the tilt control is affecting virtually the entire frequency spectrum a little bit up or down, in this potentiometer, for example, at a 100K, it's only affecting the sonic area really in between 50 and Correct. 200. And so you can get some, with this product, you can get some very specifically dialed in solution mm -hmm. to a problem, but you can also affect just if the entire room, let's say, is a little too bright, maybe the tilt control is yeah. the thing that you're gonna bring in. And because it's a Macintosh product, it has power control, which means you can turn on and off the external EQ with the remote for your integrated or your preamp. All of that functionality is built into the Macintosh DNA. Right, and a lot of times you'll hear people who are way into audio say, you know, I don't like the whole idea of EQ. It just seems like I'm doing something to the music that I don't want to do. And on the one hand, that's totally reasonable. And on the other hand, if you're in a room that is not in any way negatively affecting your sound, then don't use any EQ yeah. solution. But really the truth is almost all rooms are doing something to the sound that's not really optimal, right? Yeah, and once again, these are not, <clears throat> you know, the end solution for this problem, but these are a really nice band-aid to get you a lot of the way there. Right, a, a way to help overcome some of the issues that because the room is already built and things are already in place, you can't really overcome. We hope that you've enjoyed this discussion of rooms and the problems that they can introduce and some of the really cool solution products that Macintosh has. Ricky, this one retails for- The ME220 retails for 6,500 and the MQ112 retails for 3,000. Yep and both are shipping at this point. At Gramophone, we do a lot of installation work with our customers, both in the two-channel and home theater realms. If we sell you a product, we really want you to be happy with it. So we'd like to come out and help you actually dial in the right physical spot in the room, given whatever limitations there might yeah. be. We can help come out and use products like these two to kind of, as you say, Ricky, get you over that last little bit uh, of, of give you that last little bit of performance yeah. so you're really listening to, to all that you've paid for. I, I think just, it's one of those things that you have to realize is going to be a factor of building your system. Yeah. The room exists and you are in the room and everything that's physically in the room affects the sound. Um, you can't correct for all of those things physically, so these electronic aids are really great to be able to take you once again over that last little tiny bit. I love it. Ricky, thanks so much for making Definitely. this video with us. Always we love to see you. Oh yeah, it's always good to be here. And it's really great to be at Macintosh's House of Sound in New York City. If you get the chance to visit this amazing town, you really do want to see if you can't get some time to stop by and hear some of the incredible things that you've got here with some very gracious hosts. We love the fact that you've been able to join us for this video. We thank you so much for joining us. If you don't mind and you haven't done it yet, Go ahead and like and subscribe if you would. That helps us out a whole lot. And please go ahead and click that little bell icon so you're always notified of our upcoming content. At Gramophone, we have stores in Timonium, Columbia, and Gaithersburg, Maryland. We'd love to visit with you. And you can shop Sky by Gramophone, where you'll always get a secure checkout with fast and free shipping straight to your door. 
This is Joe and Ricky from the House of Sound. Thank you for watching this video.